Hey, Chris, Mike Carmen, Journal and Courier, how are you? All right, Mike, how about yourself? Doing well, long time no see. You yes. can't see me, but I can see you. Um, okay. okay, I mean, obviously last year was not a great, great year for the running game. How do you, how do you go about picking up the production uh, in this area? Well, there's a few things that we've really focused on this off season. And, you know, we pride ourselves on being great trash runners. Um, you know, we, we've studied a lot of video of a lot of successful backs in the league, around the country, in the NFL, and some of the things that make them successful, you know, getting yards after contact, we've really emphasized that. Winning our one-on-one -on -one matchups is something we didn't do at an efficient enough rate last year that we really emphasized as well. And just being able to create when maybe there's not a ton of room in the backfield, you know, be, and avoid negative plays. I think that's some area, that's an area that we really want to focus on as well. So really been harping on those three areas big time this off season, showing them a lot of examples of success. And uh, I think they've really taken it to heart and work, they're working at it. I mean, King was really able to get his feet wet last year and kind of learn some things. What, what steps has he taken and what steps do you need him to take this year to, to become more, a more dominant back? Yes. I mean, he uh, last year was more of a, a learning experience for him. I mean, as a young guy coming in and starting eight games as a true freshman, you know, there were a lot of things going very fast for him. Uh, and, and he had to learn on the fly. And I told him, I said, look, man, I said, this is this is year two. This is chapter two. I said, this, this should be the game should be slowing down for you. Uh, you know, you should feel a lot more comfortable uh, making plays and, and, and playing your game. You know, don't try to be somebody that you're not. Be comfortable in your own skin and play your game, son. Because he's a good player, but last year I thought he he was thinking too much and and, and really you know kind of stagnant at times and and, and uh, I think it's a big improvement from him this spring and in this offseason. Has Xander added more muscles to his muscles? Uh, uh, <laughs> that's hard to do. I told him you know when he uh, when he's done playing ball he needs to like go be a, a swimsuit model or something. I mean to get paid for I, I, in my next life I want to look like him. I mean he's he's got muscles on top of muscles. And it's a beautiful thing, but uh, you know he's working hard and, and uh, definitely working on his movement skills, not so much his physique as much anymore. And that's something we've really harped on with him. Uh, what are you seeing out of uh, Tariq, and uh, how 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 might he factor into what what you guys want to do this year? You know, he's a talented guy. You know, he he came here with a lot of a uh, lot of lot of accolades and all those things, and and uh, you know he he showed early on that really really exceptional hands uh you know he runs good routes and that's coming from his receiving background at his high school you know he caught a lot of passes so he understands protections um you know he's a very uh, uh quick learner you know he you can teach him in the classroom and things transfer from the classroom to the field very quickly uh and so you know we're excited about him he's he's got some development obviously with most young backs but uh he is very polished at this age all right that's it for me for now thank you Thank you, Mike. Okay, uh, why don't you go ahead, exponent? Thank you. Okay. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I guess I'm just curious on what you plan on doing with such key players like King and Xander and Tyreek and some of the athleticism that they possess. What do you plan to do this season as far as moving from like a platoon system or picking a player like you're used to? like you did with Anthony Wales? Yeah, it's a good question. Uh, the, best, the best guy I'll play, uh, you know, I like to ride the hot hand. Uh, you know, I think Xander and King have both been doing a tremendous job in camp, uh, really establishing themselves as leaders in the room. Uh, Tyreek is, is working hard, and, uh, absorbing things, trying to be a sponge and, and really get, get close to those young men uh, and try to learn as much as he can. Dejan has been working at it as well. Uh, so, you know, we feel good about the room. We feel like uh, we've got a next man up mentality. Uh, and so they, those kids understand that, you know, hard work will pay off. And, and the ones who perform the, the most consistent in practice will will have an opportunity to uh, contribute in the game. So we're excited. And we've got good, healthy competition. And then. How else are you planning on building Kings? I guess, instinctual skills that he didn't have as much last year with being so young? It's repetition. You know, with young backs, uh, you know, I did a lot of studies this offseason, studying uh, other running back coaches. I've got uh, quite a few mentors in the business and, and just calling them and picking their brains uh, <clears throat> on how to improve backs. 
uh, instincts and, and things of this nature. And it's not an easy task, but I think through repetition, you just try to create as many scenarios as frequently as possible so that it becomes muscle memory for them to instinctually make those moves when it's time to uh, in a game and, and in practice and all those things in scrimmage type settings. Uh, but I think that, you know, King has really taken that to heart and, and he, he's really been studying a lot of video. Um, and I'm always constantly sending him and Xander and the rest of the guys uh, video clips and articles of the things that you need to do in order to be successful. And, uh, and we've just really been trying to work on it every day in practice within each individual drill, just trying to hone in on the, those skills. And I think those kids have been doing a good job working at it. Okay. Thank you. That's all for me. Yep. Okay, Tom. Hey, Chris, is there, is there a pecking order running back right now? Will it be me and then uh, the other guys? <laughs> no, I'm just I'm just messing. But you know, Tom, I, I you know I, I uh, we feel good about Xander and King right now, uh, just where those guys are, you know, from a, an ex experience standpoint and a knowledge base standpoint. I think the game is starting to slow down for both of them because last year, if we're just being honest, last year was really both of their first year really playing, and, and Xander played a little bit before the year before and as a fullback. Uh, and kind of a reserve role, but this last this past season was both him and King's really first time seeing significant time. So it was a learn by the fire type of experience. And I think both of those kids are starting to settle in, uh, starting to get their feet underneath them and develop some confidence. And so they've been practicing well. And, and the other two kids, uh, Dejan and, and Tyreek, I mean, they've been working at it and just being sponges and, and really soaking up the knowledge and, and they're getting better as well. So we feel good. We've got good, healthy competition right now. Do you have a home run hitter? <laughs> uh, you know, I like to think that, you know, any one of these kids can hit the home run, but, you know, that's something that, you know, we're, we're definitely trying to improve on. And uh, we, we really focused on, you know, the, the intricacy of the, of the position uh, in particular, you know, bursting through the line of scrimmage. Um, sometimes, you know, with young backs, they, they feel they have to sprint to the line of scrimmage 100 miles an hour. But like I tell them all the time, I mean, if you want to have a feast, you've got to let your mom – prepare the feast. They've got to prepare the table. They've got to put it in the oven, and it's, it's going to need some time to develop. So you've got to have some patience to the line of scrimmage and then burst through the line. And I think the change of speed creates the explosive plays, which creates hopefully touchdowns in the long run. So that's something we've been really working on this offseason. Is everybody healthy? We're getting there. We're getting there. I think we've, uh, we, we're making strides, and, and uh, you know, guys are working hard. <clears throat> but we've been a little nicked here and there, but that's just par for the course at this time of year. But uh, you know, we feel good about where, we, where we're headed. Hey, last question, Chris. Um, talk about anybody who stood out in last Saturday's scrimmage among the running backs. Well, I mean, uh, Xander didn't get a ton of action in the live stuff, uh, but he's, he's playing exceptionally well right now, very consistent in his pass protection, in his run reads, and, um, you know, catching the football. So, you know, he he's pretty consistent at this stage. I thought King uh, – had a good day, you know, for the most part, uh, you know, he, he, he did a good job in the running game, uh, was challenged a couple times in the passing game, and I thought he, he accepted those challenges. So, uh, you know, those two kids I thought <clears throat> were, were pretty solid, and we feel really good about where they are at this point in time. Hey, I got to get one, that one more. Do you think, really think Tyree can be part of the rotation this year? Yeah, we'll see, Tom. I mean, it's, uh, I think that there's a lot of talent there. Um, but just like a lot of young backs, it needs to be molded. It needs to be uh, sculpted. Um, and he's just got a lot to learn. Um, and, and he's a quick learner. So there, there's a lot of promise there. And he's got really good hands, which, you know, we like to throw the ball here. So uh, I think he can definitely be involved in the passing game. And we just got to continue to bring him along. Um, but he is a, he is a, a quick study and, and definitely working hard to, to become the best player he can be and, and contribute in any way that he can. Great. Thank you, Chris. And anything else? We, we'll go with, with Coach Park Clay. Coach, I had a few. That's okay. Yep. Uh, do you think the Jets and Anthem might get any carries this year? Or do you think that's a possibility? You know, anything's possible. You know, anything's possible. Uh, you know, he, we've utilized him in, in a couple situations previously, and, and uh, he's got an extensive running back background. Uh, you know, so he, he's definitely used to seeing the game from the backfield. Uh, so he, he has the versatility to, to definitely provide uh, some, some opportunities in the backfield, for sure. But, uh, you know, we'll see. Hopefully uh, we can, you know, let him do his thing at slot. And uh, he's obviously doing a good job out there. 
um, and, and hopefully we can hold it down in the backfield. But he does provide the versatility for us to utilize him in some of those ways. Have you all started looking at Iowa yet? Or are you just focused on Purdue right now? Oh, yeah. Definitely locked in on Iowa. Uh, that's the only game on the schedule. Um, mm -hmm. We've been focusing on them for a little while now and, and uh, had a good practice today. Uh, really kind of honing in on, on some of the things that, that they do. And, and uh, uh, it's going to be a great challenge for us. They're a well-coached team, uh, very consistent, uh, play hard, they're disciplined. Uh, so we've got to really, really make sure that we study and, and, and we've got our work cut out for us. And uh, we're looking forward to the challenge. Thanks, Coach. Okay. Thank you. Joe, who was it you asked about? Jackson Anthrop. Anthrop, okay. Yeah. Okay, we've got Xander Horvath here. Uh, Tom Deanhart, why don't you lead us off on this one? Hey, Xander, sort of talk about the type of role you think you'll fill this uh, this season. Uh, well, I mean, compared to last year, it's going to be a little more this year. I'm going to have to do a little more work for the team. But, uh, I mean, I feel like we've done a lot in the offseason, honing in a lot of certain stuff. And, I mean, if I got a bigger role this year, I'm, I'm willing to step up and uh, do whatever a coach needs us to do. What have you gotten better at and improved from a skill standpoint? Uh, well, like Barkley just said a little bit ago, uh, we were working on movement skills a lot this past offseason. And, I mean, just from last year to now, it's, it's been a long time. So we've been doing a lot of drills, just uh, honing in on that. So, I mean, for me, that's probably the biggest thing. I mean, I got the size and strength, but that's just another uh, part of my game that I've been wanting to work on. So we've been focusing on that the most. Um, How did you perform in the scrimmage on Saturday? Uh, Well, I mean, I didn't go during any of the live stuff. I just went during the thud. But – I mean, from my point of view, overall, I thought it did pretty good. I picked up blitzes when I needed to, carried out the runs, uh, carried out the fakes, caught balls. So, just overall, I thought it did pretty good for the minimal amount of reps that I had. And what have you thought of Tyreek Murphy so far? Uh, I mean, I think he's good. He's he's a little different body than me. He's probably quicker, got really good feet. And like Barkley said, he's got good hands. And, you know, like, Brom, he's, he's big on throwing, too, like you guys have seen this past few years. So, I mean – he overall, he's a well-rounded player, and I mean, if he needs to get the ball and get a field, he can do that too. So he's just—he's just in general, he's just a good player. What does Hewitt bring to the table? Well, he's probably what is he, five eight or so, two hundred five to two ten. But he's a stocky kid, so I mean, he's quick on his feet, and if he needs to get the yards, he's got the mass to do it. Um, past few practices and stuff too, we've seen him a lot. He's been bursting through the line, full speed, getting extra yards. And one of the main things we've been focusing on, too, is uh, yards after contact. So I feel like he's been doing really good in that area and just trying to get uh, trying to be a better player. Who do you think is the fastest running back? <laughs> this has been an ongoing conversation for the past few years. But, uh, I mean, personally, I think I'm pretty close to King. He'll probably, probably give me the long run. He ran track the past few years, a little lighter. Maybe if I lost a few pounds, I could get up there. But I think, personally, I would say King is. Thank you, Xander. Yep, thanks. Okay, uh, how about uh, Mike Carmen? Hey, Xander. How's it going? Uh, when, you, uh, when you look back at your last game against Indiana and you had a lot of yards, a lot of production, what things in that game need to carry over this year for you to, to kind of maintain that level of performance? Uh, I think the main one is probably yards after contact. I mean, I forget how many runs I had, but there were a lot of plays, too, where if I did get touched in the line of scrimmage, I was able to still get like 10 or 15 out of it. So I think for me, that's one of the main things, considering I'm 230 pounds, I should be getting a lot of yards after contact. And then also a lot of plays, too, where I was making people miss and getting extra yards. So if I can have a few more, you know, explosive plays, like the one that was like 40 or so, however long it was, the more explosive plays we can get, the, I think the more successful we're going to be throughout our games. Have you added more muscles to your already established muscles? Uh, I mean, I've been working out every day since last year, so I feel like I got a little bit more. <laughs> kind of hard, though, once you get pretty big. Um, 
how is uh, how is King kind of a different player running back this year, or is he just kind of maybe building on the experience that he got last year? Uh, I think you said that he's building on last year. I mean, it was his first year as a young guy too, just trying to get experience, get used to the game speed. That's probably the biggest difference coming from high school. But I mean, he played throughout the entire year. He was able to see all the different, I mean, fronts and everything you're going to come across, the variety of teams and everything. But I think just from playing and learning from experience and then just going through this whole entire offseason, I think he's going to be ready for this year. You know, with David Bell and Rondell Moore on the field at the same time, they're going to get a lot of attention. How can that benefit the running game? Uh, I mean, once we start throwing to them, I mean, you're going to have teams just trying to cover them up. And once you get teams trying to uh, cover them up from getting the ball, it's going to open the runs up. So I feel like we got a good variety to go back and forth between running and throwing. But overall, I think we have a good chance to try to hurt some teams that way and just get some points. Uh, kind of a different uh, question. You guys are getting tested every day uh, for, for COVID. Uh, does that put you at ease? And kind of, you know, what is the process? Do you just you walk in before practice and get it done, or do you do it another time, or how does that work? We have a time period every day that we can come in and do it, just depending on people's classes. But, um, I mean, I do think it's good. Uh, there's not contact tracing anymore with that since we're getting tested every day. And I think we know within, like, 20 minutes after, you get your results back too. So I think what they're doing is uh, very good. And, I mean, it's keeping us all healthy and keep us from going out and getting COVID. So, I mean, overall, I think it's a good process and it's going to help us in the long run. Does that give you confidence that the Big Ten can pull off this season then? Uh, yeah, it does. I mean, before any of this was happening, I kind of thought like, there's a big chance too that if one person got in the room, you might lose a whole room and you have to kind of change your game plan. But <laughs> since they've been doing the, the testing every day, I think it's going to be very beneficial and just uh, keep uh, players from getting knocked out for like, I think, 21 days, they said. All right. Well, thank you. Thanks. Okay, exponent. Hi, Xander. So, I know Coach Barclay mentioned you guys have put a lot of work into studying in the off season, and with that, how do you think you could best be utilized for certain run scenarios? Uh, I mean, I think with the size that I have, short yardage will be a key point for me to be in. And like I said earlier, we were working a lot of movement skills. So I think in open field, I'll be able to utilize that a lot more and uh, try to work on our one-on-ones. It's been one of the key aspects we've been working on too this off season. But just in those areas, I think I'll be able to get utilized more. Okay. That was awesome. Uh, hey, Xander, what is uh, – what does Iowa do best in terms of stopping the run game? What is the biggest challenge that you're going to face with them? Uh, well, overall, they're just a well-coached, they're very disciplined. So they're going to be uh, at their assignment, like where they're placed on the field and just be there quick. So I think in the run game, too, we're going to have to hit the hole hard and try to get yards because they're going to be there right away. Um, I mean, they know their assignments and they've been game planning, too. So they're going to kind of know what schemes we have going on. But we just kind of got to carry out a task and do the assignments that we're told to do. Thank you. That's all from us. Thank you. Okay, anything else for Xander? Okay, we'll be back with Kenya here in just one second. Okay, we've got uh, King here. Uh, Mike Comer, why don't you lead us off? Hi, King. Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? Uh, just how much more comfortable you feel? How much did last year's experience um, kind of allow you to kind of hit the ground running a little bit, not only in spring ball, but once you guys got back into camp? Uh, last year was a great experience. I learned a whole lot. Um, you know, coming from high school, the game speed changes, but um, getting it, um, having the opportunity to play last season gave me more experience and adjusting to the game speed, so I should be a lot better this year. Were there um, times last year where you, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Just uh, from a comfortability standpoint, being comfortable. 
were there, were there times last year where you got frustrated because it was new and you were trying to, to learn and kind of pick up things as quickly as you could? Um, I just went out there and gave my best, you know. Um, I didn't, it wasn't all perfect. It, it wasn't all bad either. I just kept pushing and giving, um, doing what's best for the team. How did you spend the off season or how did you handle uh, uh, after spring ball? How did you stay in shape? How did you stay sharp? during the, the pandemic period? Um, we've been working hard all off season and during the spring and summer. Um, Coach Reno's been doing a good job keeping us in shape and um, improving on our strength. And we've been doing a lot of drills with Barclay, um, honing in on a lot of mistakes we um, made last season and a lot of things we could have got better at. How, how much emphasis has there been on a lot of short yardage situations? Uh, and you go through the course of a lot of games where if you pick up a third and one or a fourth and one or whatever, you keep drives alive. How important is it for this team and this running game to convert those those short yardage situations? Uh, yeah, that has to become second nature for us. You know, me and Daniel, we got good size. So those third and ones and third and twos, we got to always capitalize on that and just run through tackles, keep our feet pushing. With uh, David Bell and Rondell Moore on the field, they're going to get a lot of attention. How can the running game benefit from their presence uh, and, and maybe help this offense become a little bit more well-rounded? Uh, you know, those are two really good players. Um, I feel like that can open up things for us because they're going to – they're always going to hit people deep or um, break ones um, loose. So, um, if they're too worried about um, David Bell and um, Rondell, then that gives us an opportunity to break one loose when they're not um, thinking about us. All righty. Thank you. Sir. Okay, uh, Tom. Hey, King, um, could you have imagined leading the team in rushing as a true freshman if I told you that this time last year? Um, honestly, I, it, it really wasn't even in my head. I was just coming in, just um, giving it my, giving it my all and just playing a game of football. Do you think uh, or do you see yourself as being the leader of the running back room? Um, uh, not like pretty much a leader. We all learn off each other. Um, there's some stuff I'm good at that – um, they might not be good at or vice versa, but we just learn off each other and we just get better together as a unit. You want to be that guy the team depends on? Um, um, you know, it's not a one-person thing. Football is a game. It's a, a group of people coming together and executing one play. Are, are there any running backs that you like to study, uh, try to take things away from their game and, and maybe emulate? Uh, there's many running backs, but one of my favorites is Alvin Kamara. Um, I feel like he does a great job of running through tackles, winning his one-on-ones, and just running the ball hard. Were you happy with how you performed in the scrimmage on Saturday? Yeah, yeah, it was a good scrimmage. I feel like we did a lot of things well, caught the ball, ran hard, and broke a couple tackles. What's the competition like between you guys in the running back room? Is it, is it pretty intense or is it friendly? Yeah, it's, it's healthy competition. Um, you know, we all just focus on trying to get each other better and doing what's best for the team. All right, thank you, King. Sorry, thank you. Okay, fine on the exponent. Why don't you finish it up for us? Hi, King. I just have a couple questions about coming from being a true freshman last year and having a freshman competition that you do this year. How do you plan to learn from some of the experience to build some of those instincts that come with the running back? Game? I'm sorry, can you repeat that? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. How do you plan to come from being a true freshman and using this unique season to study a lot and build your instincts? Uh, yeah, over um, the off season, I've been watching a lot of video, watching my film, just learning on things I can improve on. There's a lot of mistakes I made last year and I just made sure I um, put it on myself to get better at those things. Okay, that's all for me, thank you. Okay, uh, Tom kind of alluded to it a little bit, but with Having so many guys that could potentially be that starter, is there any pressure that you feel at all uh, for the need to sort of assert yourself as that main guy or sort of prove yourself? Um, I just feel like everybody in the room puts pressure on themselves every day to um, give it their um, very best because we all got to get better as a unit. Thank you. Okay, do we have anything else from anybody? No follow-ups? Okay, we'll be back with you tomorrow then uh, with uh, our specialists. Um, so, uh, same same time tomorrow. Uh, you can can you can you're good. Uh, Thursday is going to be much earlier. It's probably going to be around five o'clock on Thursday. Thursday, uh, just to get the heads up.
So uh, we'll we'll talk to you all tomorrow. All right. Thank you, Matt. Thank you, Thanks, Matt.